J All Day channel members, what is going on? It's Friday. That means I'm releasing all my bets to each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for being a member of this channel. I try to put in as much work as I can to give you guys some seriously good bets to make you some cash. I'm not saying to do all these bets. These are the bets that I'm doing. And I think it's your job to go through these bets, find the ones you like the best, and help you make some cash on Sundays. Okay, we're going to kick things off with a little favorites teaser action. I did the Sweetheart 13-point teaser. So I got the Ravens plus 5.5, the Falcons plus 10.5, the Jets plus 6, the Chiefs plus 3.5, and, and the Pittsburgh Steelers 7.5, right? If you look at all these different point spreads. I think they give us a lot of flexibility, and I think all these teams win outright, personally, right? But we get a little protection here, right? With these point spreads, $5 bet to win $4.76 here. We're pretty much getting even money on this bet. Once again, I don't do huge bets. I like to do little bets, build up my bankroll over time, and then maybe later in the year, once I get a better hold on where teams are at, I'll start to increase my bets a little bit. All right, I got a straight up money line bet on the Green Bay Packers. I just think they're a way better football team than the Jaguars. The only way the Jaguars can potentially win this game is by just running the ball down their throat. But the Packers have been very, very good against the run. They shut down the Cardinals, which was extremely impressive in my opinion. And they did a good job the last few weeks just playing complimentary football, right? Solid defense, good offense. Hopefully Jordan Love will limit the turnovers a little bit. And I expect Jair Alexander to shut down Brian Thomas Jr. So they only really have... Bigsby and Ingram to go to. I just like the Packers to win this game straight up money line. And this is my favorite bet of the week, I think, coming up, guys. The Atlanta Falcons, Baltimore Ravens, two team parlay, right? The Falcons are playing a decimated Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. No Chris Godwin. He's done likely for the year. Evans is out to week 11, they're saying, with the hamstring injury. They don't have a ton of weapons at all left <laughs> in this offense, right? They don't really have a solid tight end. The running back room is okay with Bucky Irving. I actually do like him. But there's just not a lot of depth there, guys. And Baker Mayfield has been already prone to turning the ball over a lot. The three interceptions against New Orleans a few weeks ago. I mean, I think this is a great spot to get even money on a two-team parlay. All right, next up, I got a monster parlay. A monster. It's only a $2 bet, $2 and change to win 50 bucks. I got Falcons, Ravens, Packers, Jets, Lions, Broncos, Chiefs, Steelers, Eagles. Woo! Nice little, you know, roll of the dice parlay just for fun, guys. Just a $2 little bet. All right. Next up, I love this parlay as well. Lions at home against the Titans all day. All day. Baltimore Ravens on the road versus the Cleveland Browns. No Deshaun Watson. Looks like Jameis Winston's going to start there. I just don't think they're going to be able to slow down Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry. No one has been able to, and I don't expect the Browns to be able to do that. The Browns' offense is going to be a lot of three and outs. Jameis Winston, I'm saying the prop to throw at least one interception is definitely in play for me. i got to check the odds closer to game day. I'll let you know in a short if I eventually do that, but Jameis Winston throwing a pick is like, Easy money, in my opinion, for this week. But Lions, Ravens, Jets, money line, I love that. And then I got another two-team parlay that I absolutely love. I don't know. This actually might be my favorite bet of the week. Pittsburgh Steelers at home versus the Giants. If the Giants win on the road again and beat the Steelers, I'm going to lose my mind. But I love this spot. The Steelers' defense with Highsmith and TJ Watt, we saw what they did last week. They just wreak havoc, man. Daniel Jones is going to get sacked at least five times. And the Chiefs... I just think are way better than this Raiders team that's kind of flying by the seat of their pants. I think they're going to blow it up. They don't have a lot of talent. Aiden O'Connell's done for like five weeks with a, I think it's a thumb injury. And then Gardner Minshew threw three picks and had a fumble last week. He stinks. So I like this two-team parlay. It's not a lot of money line bets that I love this week. There's huge odds this week, right? So we got to spread out our parlays because we can't just go all these big favorites all the time, even though they should win these games pretty easily. And then I got a Lions, Ravens, Broncos. I like that parlay as well. I just can't see the, you know, 
Ugh, this is a tough bet because I do have a lot of exposure to the Ravens on the road. So I got to take that into consideration, guys. I wouldn't go as heavy on the Ravens if I were you, but I just like them in this spot. And then I have another solid parlay with some underdogs in it, right? We got Cardinals, which I think is a good bet straight up. I have a straight up bet for them. I just don't think two is coming off the couch and lighting it up. I just don't. He's got to be playing with some fear. I mean, you would be crazy to not. Maybe he balls out. Then I got the Eagles, Ravens, Lions, and Cowboys. I don't necessarily love this Cowboys bet, but I'm just figuring I'm going to throw this in a parlay. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do to like counteract that is kind of go with a little money line to San Francisco 49ers bet, I think, at some point. Or maybe find a partner to pair up in a parlay. The 49ers should win this game because the Cowboys can't stop the run at all whatsoever. And teams that can't stop the run really struggle against the 49ers and Shanahan's offense. But the 49ers wide receiver crew is decimated and the Cowboys are coming off a bye. That's why I think that's a potential spot for some value there. And then this is one of my favorite bets of the week. Another bet that I think I, I think I gotta cancel out this this bet right here, guys. I'm going to cash out live for you guys to let you know my strategy. Sometimes I make these bets during the week and I got to go back and look at what I'm doing because I have a big $10 parlay. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, here it is. Chiefs, Broncos, Lions, Ravens. I just added the Chiefs to that other parlay. I had these other three teams, so I don't need to have both of those parlays, right? So I canceled the one out. I like this bet a little bit better. And then we have Ravens, Falcons, Lions, another one I really like. I just think the Ravens are going to cash big for us against the Browns. That's why I'm going heavy on the Ravens this week. And then I have an Arizona Cardinals money line bet, $5 money line bet. I think pairing the 49ers with a team like the Steelers is very interesting. I, I might actually, if no Jaden Daniels, I'm going to go with the Bears money line for sure. So there are all my bets this week. Pairing them with the Falcons is very interesting as well. You know, I just can't see the Buccaneers winning this game against the Falcons, but the Falcons let me down last week. So you never know the NFL any given Sunday, right? I think the Jets dominate the Patriots, but like that's not a bad one either if you go 49ers, Jets. If you go 49ers, Jets, let's check out the odds right now on that. If we go to multiples and we go to a parlay, see that's coming in at pretty much even money, guys. So I'm going to do a $5 bet live for you. Live bet, that's what we do on the J All Day Show. I give you live bets. I give you a whole look at my sports book to let you know that sometimes I get a little overzealous in my picks a little bit like I did with the Ravens. So I got to lay off some of that juice, do some other bets. And this way, we're not overly exposed to the Ravens just in case the Browns somehow win and Jameis Winston lights it up. I don't see that happening, but you never know. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Thanks again for being a member of this channel. It really helps me be able to do these videos for you each and every week. The support has been great. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.